Good morning and welcome back. Uh, today's experiment is going to be the first test of a uh, citric acid biocell. And uh, for this test I have to go back to the bare bones uh, version of the biocell and uh, add some citric acid uh, to it. And um, what I uh, what I did was I took the borax uh, solution I had for yesterday's experiment and I added a little citric acid to it and lo and behold it bound to, to all the borax and uh, all the that had precipitated out from the night before and it's now all back in solution so borax is definitely a, uh, a uh, linking agent there's no doubt about that and it's just as cold in, in here this morning as it was yesterday as a matter of fact it's 57 degrees so it's one degree cooler so anyway so that's what that's our acid is it's now with with the borax and then our the titanium is this is just titanium dioxide and distilled water so let's uh, we'll spread a little of that on our on our zinc plate which I cleaned to make sure we have a fresh surface to work from and there we go a drop or so on there and then we're going to put our separator paper on it that and now I'll just start a piece of graph oil oops I forgot to put the citric acid borax on it there's one two three four maybe five drops I'm not sure on there and down. Now we'll see if we get anything or not. Now I haven't done this experiment beforehand, so this is just as new to me as it is to you. So here we go. Let's see what kind of voltage we got. 99.86. Well, it looks like it's going to, wants to slowly drop, it looks like. It's going to see what stabilizes that, if it does. No, we still got a slow drop going on. Not sure why. We'll find out. Let's see if, what kind of amperage we get here. I'm just going to touch it fast to see what the max is. Looks like uh, 0.16. No, oh no, that went up. It went to 1.38. 1.3 again, so it's, it recharges really fast. I mean, the amps do. Let's see how our self charge is going 50, 68, 73, 74. Yep, it's still charging up. Let's see how it charges up back to a, close to a volt. And 79. 80. So it looks like the self charge is slower on that. Uh, it may be because of the borax, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, I'm back. I forgot to show you something that I wanted to show you. This, uh, what we have here, this is the uh, highly porous uh, carbon that I made uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, it's very easy to clean. You want to just dig it out of the uh, your beaker and, and, and do a, something else and mix uh, some water with it. And then you just pour it through a strainer like this and you'll get the uh, most of it will, will end up in the strainer and you'll end up with some with some real fine stuff in water in the 
in the bottom of it and you can you can take a hose or a spray ball or whatever and wash it some more right through there if you want uh, it's it's really light though and it wants to float in water so you might have to submerge it some to to wash it good but it and it holds a lot of water once it's uh, uh, once you've uh, got it wet so then you need to spread it out on something in the sun to help it dry faster because uh, it will take a while to dry okay uh, so just wanted to show you that thanks well back again I figure this since this video is pretty short uh, we might as well add a little bit more to it so um, I decided we'll just take the and put a little of our uh, microspheres from the other biocell on the uh, on the graph oil the, this is the oil base stuff with the lecithin and all that in it so we'll just paint a little of that on here and uh, just for the hell of it and we'll see what kind of difference we get We've got a nice temperature drop right there. That's it's a uh, when you feel that temperature drop, it's sucking the heat out of your hand because it's converting the uh, heat into uh, electricity to charge itself up. So I suspect that this one is going to be a higher voltage. Oh, well, let's see what we got. And it definitely is 1.14345. Now this time it didn't want to drop; it wants to climb. And so the the oil base in this battery is pretty necessary. It looks like. Let's see. Let go back here again. Yeah, we're at 115.5 and. And it's still climbing a little bit slowly, so so that's why we were dropping before we didn't we weren't uh, taking advantage of the uh, reactions on the positive side of the of the battery. All right, now let's see what kind of amps we got here. I'll touch this real quick here so we see you get a max. Oh, I saw 17. Or am I? Mm -hmm. I'm on the uh, 20 amp setting, so it's actually 1.7. Let's uh, let's take it to the 200 amps. So you can see it. So there's just one decimal after. Now let's see what we got. Oh, 23. Yeah, 23 milliamps. Not bad. All right. Let's see what. almost back to and that's a fast cell climb and we would just drain this some and we're back as a matter of fact it's higher now than it was before now it's 116.4 and still climbing look at that so something's happening in the cell and still climbing now we're at 117.2.3 cool Let's, uh, let's discharge it again and see if we can push that voltage higher. It's conditioning it somehow. So let's go back to 200 milliamp setting here. And bang, 20. Ooh, yeah. 23 or something like that. Let's drain it down a little bit here. Check our self charge some more. See if it still runs back up fast. See if it goes above uh, what was the max last time? 117, something like that. One, 1.14, still climbing, pretty quick. 1.15. Point one 
six. Yeah, it's going to go back to 117. There it is. Let's see if it'll go to 118. Looks like it will. So there's uh, we've got some kind of uh, equalization going on in there. Or there's 1.18 volts, and it's still climbing, although considerably slower. So it's about max. Let's discharge it one more time. Let's see what we do. See if our max voltage goes up even again. Alright, here we go. 26 that time. So, uh, and the cell's getting better. It's growing! <laughs> it's alive! I like to say that. Okay. Now well, let's check it again. Oh yeah, we're back up over 105, 6. Really fast, uh, and I noticed that with the yesterday with the borax, it, it increases the uh, self-charge, makes it faster. Yep, 112, still climbing fast. 13. So looks like the. Uh, citric acid and uh, works pretty well in it as long as you have the as long as you have the uh, oil base uh, hydrophobic uh, stuff on your cathode and come back to 117 whoops I got to poke through the graphite here maybe yeah. So yeah, we're back to gonna get make 118 easy. Still fine. We might even get to 119 this time. Almost there. Well, so uh, that's encouraging. There it is, 1.19, and it's still climbing. So we've got some kind of uh, something happening in the cell, conditioning cell, or uh, I'm not sure. Who knows? There's all so much we don't know and about science. A lot of things we misunderstand. We think we know. But we really don't. So we got, looks like it's gonna, come on baby, let's get to 1.2. Come on, just a dab more. Come on. You can do it. There it is, I saw it. 1.2 volts. Okay, I'm glad I uh, came back and did that so y'all could see it too. Alright, thanks for watching.